Hey guys, it's Bomb Primus here, and today I'm gonna continue on with Mass Effect 3, the campaign. Actually, specifically, I'm gonna do the Leviathan DLC. Probably, you know, the title of this video is gonna be, you know, Leviathan DLC mission episode, whatever, blah 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 blah. Right? Um, I already did the from the from ashes DLC. I was I was saying from the ashes, but it's not from the ashes. It's from ashes. DLC. All right, basically you get the uh, Prothean Javik. Uh, you have like a one hour long uh, mission to do, and that's basically it. Um, and the reason why I'm doing all these, excuse me for a second, I got a sneeze here, but it doesn't want to come out. There we go. Uh, it didn't come out though. Um, the reason why I'm doing all these DLCs and I bought them and everything is because I'm going, uh, you may already know by my uh, goodbye video that I'm going to boot camp and everything. And so I basically want to complete the com you know, the full story of Commander Shepard here. So I bought all the DLCs for shits and giggles and everything uh, to see how they are. I know I said in the past, like, oh, I'm never going to buy the Leviathan DLC. It's stupid. Or, oh, I'm never going to buy the From Ashes DLC because it's a waste of money. But I said, screw it. Why not? You know, it's one of my favorite games of all time. So, uh, and so far. I, I like the From Ashes DLC. It wasn't that bad. It sucked. It was short, but hey, what are you going to do about it, alright? And I'm doing the uh, DLCs by order, so I'm doing From Ashes first, which I already did. It's already uploaded to my, uh, uh, oh, whatchamacallit, Mass Effect channel, Two Chunk of Pie Jacks. Now I'm going to do the Leviathan DLC, and then next I'm going to do the Citadel DLC. I already did the Omega DLC uh, because the first DLC bought because uh, it was the only one I really thought was going to be worth the money, and this is way before I thought of joining the military and everything, so... Uh, but with no further ado, enough of me talking about my life and boot camp and all this shit. Fucking Eden Prime, screw that shit. Alright, let's go to the mall. No, I'm fucking that. I'm gonna go to the mall. What am I? How am I your mother? Alright, so we gotta go. Assault um, Elusive Man's base. No, we don't wanna do that yet. We gotta actually do the Leviathan DLC, which is in the Citadel, funny enough. Uh, but I really don't wanna do the, the Citadel DLC just yet. Um, just for the fact that I wanna say that for, you know, the. That they say the best for last, if you would. So let's go to Citadel. Okay. All right. So we got different options here. Um, dock. All right. So we got options: Alliance Docks, Bryson's Labs, or Personal Apartment. Obviously, if I go to the Personal Apartment, that's Citadel. Bryson's Lab is the Leviathan DLC. But I'm going to Alliance Docks. Why? Uh, because there's a special interaction with Javik and. Uh, the Hanar, I believe that's. What, hold on, I'm fixing my microphone here. Uh, the Hanar and some other species too. Um, and I figured it's you know it'd be pretty cool to see that. So. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Sure. Do you need ground transport? Yeah, so go to embassies. You have to go to the embassies. All right. Yes, Commander. And you take Javik with you, right? Make sure you take Javik with you if you have From Ashes DLC already installed and everything. Um, this is really nothing important. I don't think it gives you any type of. Um, galactic readiness or anything like that but it's just more of just like entertainment and I figure I should show you guys before I actually start the Leviathan DLC this little short scene here with Javik and everything um, I did change my armor just for the fact that I'm not I'm one of those people that really cares about you know oh my stats will help uh, my armor will help increase my stats and stuff like that I don't really care about that uh, usually I, I choose armor based on um, appearance rather than anything else so I go here. Where's oh, the Hanar you can talk to? Is it over here? No, that's where the Volus at. No, the Hanar asshole was. Wait, don't tell me I messed up here. No, I know what I Shut up, bitch. I have excellent news. Your daughter's yeah, yeah, we already know about your damn daughter. Blah, 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 blah. Wait a minute. Oh, that's weird. Where in the hell is, uh, Javik? Wasn't he supposed to be in the embassies? Unless I wasn't supposed to do a certain mission or something beforehand. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. What, what's going on here? Let's, I, I'm, I do want to start the Leviathan DLC. I just want to check. Oh, that's weird. Shut up! Please select a destination. Oh! It's the Presidian Commons, I think. Yeah, so I, I got that confused. It was the Presidian commons, uh, commons, not the Embassy. Duh. All right, so let's go check this out. I don't know why I was thinking Embassy for some reason. I don't know why. So. And apparently, uh, some news on Mass Effect 4. Uh, they're going to use 
the uh, new Frostbite engine that they have, and things like Frostbite engine 3.0 or 2.0. I don't, I don't remember which one it is, uh, what number they're on. Uh, but the, it's basically the same um, gaming engine that they're going to use for Battlefield 4. Um, and a lot of people are saying, oh, well, it's just Frostbite 1.5. Well, to be honest, the difference from graphically from Battlefield 3 and 4 now are quite significant if you look at it. And the fact that in Battlefield 4, they really look like human actors. They don't look like computer-generated people, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, but I, I guess whatever. Oh, that's right. Shit. They already attacked. I forgot. Alright, so let's see here. Where's Javik? Javik! No. I thought that Turian over there was Javik. I don't know the fuck is he. I know he's down here somewhere. Javik! Where are you? Is that him? No, that's a Turian. Damn it! I think I can't do it anymore after the Citadel was attacked. Ah, shit. Oh, Liara. Maybe I have to talk to Liara. How you doing, sweet ass? Hello, Shepard. Bitch, I'm talking to you! Nice to see you. What? I missed this place. Fuck you then! Alright, whatever. I'm with Tally anyway with this character, so I don't. I guess after. Aw, oh, man, that fucking sucks. I guess I can't do the sing with Javik. Sorry, guys. I wasted your time! Whatever, I just wanted to see Javik talk to the Hanar and shit. I guess you can't do it. Why is this shit loading so much? Fuck. What's wrong with this damn game? Fucking A. Whoa, 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 what is this skipping here? It's like laggy for a second. I guess not. Um. Well, I guess I was wrong. Alright, I'm gonna do one more thing and then we'll start the Leviathan DLC. Do, do, do. Uh, let's go to the Normandy dock. Maybe I have to talk. Maybe, maybe I meet him there and he goes, I'm going to go to the Presidian Commons. Da 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 da. Um, that's probably my screw up. I don't, I, I don't know. I just read it somewhere online where it says it's go to Presidian Commons or embassies or something. And Javik has a little sequence where he talks to a whole bunch of like other races and like, oh, the primitives are now taking over this fucking place. Oh shit. So I don't know. Maybe I did screw up and you're supposed to go to the, the Normandy docking bay first and to initiate the, uh, the sequence. Let's see how this goes. I know this is supposed to be the Leviathan DLC, not the From Ashes DLC, but I figure you guys should at least see the scene. Because I heard it's a funny scene. Shut up, bitch! Oh, what the hell? Well, that's just bullshit! No, I don't want to return to the Normandy. What the fuck?! Alright, I guess Javik can interact after the Citadel's been attacked. Uh, okay then. Screw it, whatever. Uh, actually, funny enough, this is where you meet for the Omega DLC right here. Wait, can I do it? Citadel Rapid Tr- ooh. Oh, let's go to Dr. Bryson's lab. There we go. So I guess you can also do it there. Alright. So we're starting the Leviathan DLC. Sorry about that. You know, I thought you can- I don't know, I don't know what the fuck happened. I know there's a scene- where, you, where Javik talks to the Hanar and the Asari and some Turian and some uh, Solarian and like, Oh, you primitives are now taking over the, the, the place? Oh, this is bullshit. Hey, I used to eat Solarian for breakfast. Ha 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 ha. I don't know why Javik sounds like a, like a freaking Transylvanian evildoer. I don't know. I don't know. Javik to me, in my opinion, sounds Jamaican, man. He's like, yeah, man, you know. I, I don't know. I guess he's trying to sound Asian-ish because I know... His armor that he wears is supposed to be very samurai uh, based. Alright, so I'm gonna shut up now about Javik here. We're gonna. Okay. You know what's going on here, man? Oh, he's one of these crack jobs who puts shit on the walls. I want you to match this against all known locations and update the map. They contact the field teams for a progress report. Hey, look! Yes, the sir. same generic character you see in every fucking level. Oh, Commander Shepard. We've been Whoa, that guy's ugly. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Leviathan? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. There's some nice digs here. What's your assignment? 
Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal. But is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? Duh. The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? I'm I still thought it. That's what I did. Doesn't exist. I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven Damn, to be old, reality, then. our entire history changed. Why well, staying there? That reality too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we could just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Sounds useful. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid attention to your warnings. Yeah, I know. Papers, like we might not be in this war. Everybody with a bunch of morons. The information we've uncovered. A breakthrough's near. Oh no, Sovereign wasn't a Reaper. Sovereign was this a shit. Badly, do you have the yeah, data? Yeah, sentient ship that took a whole fucking fleet to destroy. No. <laughs> uh, uh. Bam, bitch! Ah! Follow forward Just tackle, Commander motherfucker. Shepherd, I need C-Sec at my location. I used to play now. for the Galactic Football Federation. The darkness can't be breached. Uh oh, what does that mean? Uh Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Ow! Were you Rubble tits! I'm fine. What about a Rubble use your upgrade? Help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. I don't remember putting her with that armor. What? I. What's happening? Good question. I don't know you too. I'm me. fucking lost. I I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then. It was dark, cold, like I was indoctrinated. Myself. And then? I don't know. A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was a loud noise. That was you shooting him. <laughs> I was his gay lover. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Damn humans. You have to believe that. Then what happened here? So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you wanna... What's wrong? Oh, the crack! It's affecting me! Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get them over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with them. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. Why? Is it porno? An outgoing message from Dr. Bryson oh, damn. to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating? I think It's the really same voice I think as Admiral Hackett. What the fuck? About 20 Here. years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. Not here, Hackett. What could have killed the Reaper? In the only the difference place? is like this guy's deeper exactly. because he's actually That's in person. The, the other one's more of like a it's worth audio log. He's the same fucking voice actor. What the hell? The progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe. Yeah, that's Leviathan definitely Hackett's voice. A Reaper killer, almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Well, let's go for the evil side for now. I see Bryson's point. Anything capable of bringing a Reaper down is worth finding. Despite the potential dangers it could pose, I would- Shut up, Rubble Tits! No one asks for your opinion. We can find I'm it. the boss around here. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. Okay! So we did some exploring here? Wait. Oh! Well, why does it have an option to allow me to attack if I can't? Let's see here. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the law. Let's see here. Hmm. A lot of porno. Dr. I Bryson, see. It's Garneau. 
I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but I swear Leviathan came through here. What is that? I'm gonna crunch some. It's a Leviathan numbers. testicle. Uh, That's what it is. Travel allowance. Those things are huge. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garno appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not stay to destination. Then get me one, bitch. He's out there somewhere, and we need him. I'll do what I can. Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garno. All right, first let me check the room. I didn't really do that. Oh, what is this? What the fuck? Why is a head following me? <laughs> fuck you! Oh god, why would you keep a human husk? Oh, that uh, it is inflated. Oh shit! Why does he have human bones? Ew. There wants to be human. There used to be humans. What the hell, man? It's Hannibal Lecter. Let's see here. All right, it's like a beautiful mind here. Look at that. Do 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 do. I see the world. All right, what else is in this room? Nothing else. Really? That's it. That's it. Volus. We got some bitch there. We got another bitch there. I guess it's the only option to do. Wait, where in the hell did Edie go? Oh, there she is. It's like, where the fuck did she go? She just disappeared. Does this tell us where Garnon went? No. But we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. Okay, search for lab clues. Do, do, do. Alright, see, let's see here. He's, this guy's probably a drug addict. Okay, we got. These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. Well, I don't know. You've experienced indoctrination, you dumbass. Like, you wouldn't expect, suspect that? Shit, let's see what's this. Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter. You may examine the results on the galaxy map program. Ooh. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. I guess we gotta con continue searching the lab. It's got a nice place, actually. Shit. What the hell? No, focus! Loch Ness Monster? Plesiosaur. Loch Ness Monster is more interesting. Yeah. Interesting and Bitch! resistant. Did I tell you to talk? Huh? Have you ever seen the show Primeval? Huh? The anomalies, bitch! It was the anomalies! Alright, never mind. <laughs> if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, re research some primeval. It's pretty cool. Looks like data on the rack. So it's a British show. Arachna? Looks like data on the rack. Oh, what do you have that? March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rachni. Their movements during the Rachni Wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong. And Rachni weren't implanted with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rachni to fight the Oh, Rachni? shit! What do you think, Edie? That's an interesting twist. It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. We saw a data pad containing data on Rachni movements earlier. It may be relevant. Oh, picture. By Ann Bryson, age nine. This does not seem relevant at the moment. Hey, bitch, shut up. By Ann Bryson, age nine. Must be the daughter. This does not seem relevant at the moment. The Rachni data. Can you add a cross reference for locations of sightings? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Level 59, yeah! Uh, we'll, we'll keep on adding more stuff, don't worry. Let's keep on. Ooh, wow, there's a lot of shit here. Oh my god! The Thorian, a life form discovered on Pharos, provides fascinating insight into the life cycle of a truly alien species unlike convention conventionally intelligent life and does not use mass relays. Prothean artifacts would not interest it. Commander Shepard claims that Reaper enemies cultivated life to involve evolve 
along lines they could predict. Using technology the Reapers controlled. The Thorian is an exception to, the, to that rule. It evolved to use organic tools rather than conventional technology. Leviathan must be somehow similar to have survived undetected for so long. The Thorian used pain conditioning to control its victims using them as manual labor or even as, as a man would use his own hands and fingers. Commander Shepard claims that Reapers do the same thing though a different process called indoctrination. Indoctrination. Whatever Leviathan is, it must do something similar. Hmm. What's this? Bryson was tracking unexplained creatures. Whoa, what's wrong with your neck, buddy? The photographs have a trace chemical residue. It may be visible under another light source. Switch. Oh, God, he uses cum as a fucking... Oh, disgusting. <laughs> Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate. Yeah, he extrapolated his semen. That's what he used. Disgusting. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding the search filter now. Creature sightings. Oh, what's this? Rocks. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. Meteorite sample with traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Ah, uh, yes. Mass Effect 2 and 1, where you had to find element zero. That was bullshit. Ooh, some machine gun part. Cool. Recoil. Sweet. Oh yeah, it's a picture. I already saw that. Went to the kitchen already. What's this? It's a little... What's this? Sovereign. Hope they've got that thing shielded. Oh, it's a piece of Sovereign! Oh shit. Oh, I can go outside. Oh, sh oh damn. Woo, it's over here. There's probably some spare parts. Hell yeah. Ultralight material. See here, let's get. Must find something good here. Oh, this vehicle. I don't want to activate that yet. Let's see here. Some. Ooh, velocity barrel. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't even have that for the multiplayer yet. Gotta be something here. Yep. Pistol cranial trauma system. What the hell is that? In other words, a way to fuck up your opponents, I bet. Cranial. Some. Must be some type of, like, armor piercing mod or some sort. Oh wait, I missed shit over here. Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands... Who cares? It won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Ah, so sweet. Close to his heart. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, I love you, Shepard. You're fucking funny, dude. The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. Oh, I don't know. Let's see here. Ann Bryson. Same last name. Picture of a drawing. By Ann Bryson. Age 9. Records indicate Ann is now Ooh. 28. She works well, bang, okay. <laughs> Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? An interesting a hooker? <laughs> but I detect no trace of the decryption That's what I keep closer than my family. My hooker. Art. Alright, so let's go up here. If you guys don't know what will bang, okay? It's a reference from, uh... What was it? Oh, damn, I forgot, those, forgot the guy who made that, uh, parody. Let me see here. There's room... Dr. Bryson, per your request, I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan of Dis. Commander, the Dreadnought is in custody, but the Solarians may have surveillance footage. Our ambassador will issue a full denial. Give me your preliminary analysis. Several million years old at least, and its technology outstrips anything on the Council. Excellent. Our scientists will work day and night to bring its secrets to the huh. family. One concern, Commander. The real Leviathan of Dis, the thing that destroyed the ship, is still out there. 
Action the Leviathan of Dis is, um, I think it's referenced in Mass Effect 1 or 2, I'm not really sure. Um, so, I guess they kind of had this plan for years, but they're really like, ah, we'll save it for DLC, make more money. Money, 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 money! Money! Oh, look, another prison. <clears throat> another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Daddy! Well, take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. Ah, right. damn, that was our phone number. the data pad we found earlier. It's funny, a lot of people say that they don't like male shepherd's voice, and they prefer the female shepherd. They say the female shepherd is a little, little bit more talented. But my, I don't know why they say that, though. I think the male shepherd does a really great job in his uh, voice acting. I forgot the guy's name, but um, but I, I think it's just more comical. Male shepherd's voice is like more comical than female shepherd. Female shepherds are like, eh, whatever. She that seems too, like, oh, I'm a bitch type of voice. Well, this shepherd's more like, ha, 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 funny. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Oh, so that was useless. All right, let's go with Rachni activity. Rachni activity. Oh shit. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. What the Alien sightings. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be. Oh, is this? Relevant. What the fuck? Is this Prothean? Yes. I believe Dr. Bryson and Liara would have had much to do. You mean much to boing? <laughs> oh. known to have Prothean ruins or artifacts? Doing so now. Alright, Prothean activity here. Prothean artifacts. Oh my god. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Alright, so I gotta get rid of shit here. How much? I think I can get one more. I'm missing probably one more. Did I miss something? I don't think I've missed anything. I think I've collected all the information I needed. Do you guys see anything else? Leave a comment in the comment section below telling me if you see anything else. I'm playing around. I'll probably figure this out anyway. What the fuck? But still, even so, it's like, oh, uh, what? Alright, so. There's the Leviathan right there. Oh, this door opens? What the hell? I guess we might find something in here. Whoa, Edie. Hey, hey, I gotta use the bathroom. Can you get the fuck out of here for a second? I gotta, like. Well, this guy reads a lot while he's taking a dump. Shit, when I'm taking a dump, I just listen to music. <laughs> Edie, come here, baby. You wanna take a shower with me? Well, you might short circuit. I'm all wet! So there's nothing in here. What the hell? And I already went up. Unless there's another place of in. No. Move it, Edie. I guess I have to remove some of the stuff on the screen and see what happens. Let's see here. Alright, so let's just do process elimination. Blackout crimes may be relevant to the situation at hand. Ragnite activity may also be relevant. Element zero. Let's get rid of protein activity because. No, I said protein activity. Protein artifacts. No results. Some of our search parameters may Alright, there's three places that are close, so let's remove that. Okay, we got three places that are intertwined. Let's go with... Nope. Element zero deposits. We get a lot of places... No results. Some of our search parameters may be... Alright, so let's get rid of... Creature sightings? Yeah, I said creature sightings. 
Blackout crimes, maybe? There we go. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. I can do it! Let's eliminate... Deactivate that. Alright, let's activate... I say Rachni activity. Rachni activity. No results. Some of our search parameters okay. may be irrelevant. Now let's go for blackout crimes here. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Mm. Alien sightings. No results. Some of our search parameters may be. So we got Rec no, let's see element zero. Element zero deposits. No results. Some of our search parameters may be. Let's irrelevant. eliminate creature sightings and let's add Prothean activity. Prothean artifacts. No results. Ah, screw it. Let's go. Some we got enough information that we need. Be I'm not gonna spend my whole time doing this. All right, guys. So I'll be back with the next episode where I actually uh, start the mission. I, I guess actually fighting, if you would. All right. So stay tuned, guys. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please press the little like button down below. Also, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you want more updates on what's going on, on my channel, just visit me on Twitter or at my Facebook page. So this is Paul Primus. Keep it crunchy and peace out.